welcome to metallurgy with ajr small concepts in an easy and simple approach here i am going to discuss about hydrogen embrittlement hydrogen embrittlement severe embrittlement can be produced in many metals by very small amounts of hydrogen bcc hcp metals are susceptible to hydrogen embrittlement as little as 0.00018% of hydrogen can cause cracking in steel fcc metals are not susceptible to hydrogen embrittlement hydrogen is introduced during melting entrapped during solidification and picked up during heat treatment electroplating acid pickling or pelting Hydrogen is also introduced during cathodic reaction of corrosion. Where does the hydrogen atom locate itself? Hydrogen in vacancies, hydrogen at dislocations, hydrogen at precipitates and their interfaces, hydrogen at phase boundaries, hydrogen at surface and surface oxides, hydrogen at surface cracks, hydrogen at crack tips. hydrogen at voids hydrogen at grain boundaries hydrogen at grain boundary triple points a method of study of hydrogen embrittlement a notched tensile specimen with known amounts of hydrogen is loaded to different stresses in a dead weight machine and the time of failure is observed here you can see hydrogen embrittlement in action positively charged hydrogen breaks out the water molecules and is attracted to metal hydrogen atoms enter the metal through the high stress areas hydrogen interacts with iron atoms to weaken and embrittle the metal here you can see the fracture curve for hydrogen free notched specimen and hydrogen charged notched specimen for hydrogen free specimen the yield strength and tensile strength are much higher observations the notched tensile strength of a charged specimen may be lower than the strength of a hydrogen free specimen there is a minimum critical value below which delayed fracture will not occur this is similar to the sn curve of fatigue hence this is called static fatigue limit which increases with a decrease in hydrogen content or a decrease the severity of a notch the hydrogen content of steel may be reduced by baking or heating around 150 to 250 degrees centigrade hydrogen is present as monoatomic hydrogen and since it is a small interstitial atom it can diffuse more rapidly at temperatures above room temperature pressures are developed when hydrogen diffuses into voids and micro cracks Also the influence of a stress gradient occurs as hydrogen diffuses where hydrogen interacts with the metal lattice to reduce its coercive strength also hydrogen reduces the fracture strength by decreasing the surface energy at the tip of the crack subjected to tensile stress the fracture process in hydrogen embrittlement can involve cleavage intergranular and ductile fracture hence the most important thing is there is no single fracture mode characteristic of hydrogen embrittlement the macro structure of the fractograph of a cross section of a bolt showing fracture region and progressive hydrogen induced cracking that is along the right side the dark gray colored area shows the hydrogen embrittlement There is only one solution for prevention of hydrogen embrittlement. Heat treatment for preventing hydrogen embrittlement. Hydrogen can be driven off through annealing in vacuum. Friends, my idea is to give small concepts of metallurgy in a continuous process. Kindly like my videos and subscribe. you will get notification from me every week thank you